When the prophet Moses, peace be upon him, was sent as an envoy to the people of Pharaoh, he and certain people around him foolishly and ignorantly set about mocking the prophets. The reason for this is that they regarded the prophet Moses, peace be upon him, who was chosen as an envoy and called them to the true faith as being from a lower class than themselves. His asking them to change their own superstitious religion offended the pride of these unbelievers. The feelings of pride among them prevented them from recognizing and obeying the Messenger of Allah and encouraged them to mock him. This is revealed in the following verses. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. We sent Moses with our signs to Pharaoh and his nobles. He said, I am the Messenger of the Lord of the Worlds. But when he came to them with our signs, they merely laughed at them. Surat az zukhruf 46 and 47. Pharaoh was jealous of and hated the prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and foolishly tried to belittle the envoy of Allah by expressing such transitory values as his rank in this world, his goods, property, and power. Surely the prophet Moses, peace be upon him, is beyond that. This exceedingly ugly behavior on the part of Pharaoh, who had the type of character capable of laughing at others' characteristics and even at his own people, is revealed in these verses. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. Am I not better than this man who is contemptible and can scarcely make anything clear? Surat az zukhruf 52 In that way he swayed his people, and they succumbed to him. They were a people of deviators. Surat az 54. Looking for people's flaws and exposing their defects is a common form of behavior in societies which are far removed from religious moral values. The underlying reason why some people adopt these ugly moral values is their passions for this world and their own foolish desires to be superior to others. Such people believe that exposing others' flaws or mistakes will bring them some kind of superiority. They think that by mocking other people's flaws, weaknesses, or errors, they can cover up their own. Mockery is therefore a moral defect that can be encountered at any moment in societies of ignorance. Mockery has become an indispensable component of life in societies that live far removed from religious moral values. Children and young people grow up with this culture and morality. Since they want to be the most superior person in their environment, at least in their own eyes, they mock positive attributes when they see them in others. In this way, they seek to belittle the person in front of them in other people's eyes and damage their self-confidence. They do not want the other person to be liked or admired by others. Since they do not live by the true love, affection, and compassion that Allah commands in the Quran, they have no qualms about mocking and offending one another. These people, bereft of Quranic moral values, constantly look for things they can deride in other people, while simultaneously being terrified at the prospect of being subjected to mockery themselves. With this mocking behavior, they thus literally inflict a climate of persecution on one another. The only way out of these troubles and troublesome environment is to adopt, live by, and ensure that others live by the moral values demanded by the Qur'an. The only superiority in the sight of Allah lies in piety. Nobody can therefore know how valued anyone else is in Allah's eyes. Almighty Allah has forbidden mockery at all times in people's lives. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. Woe to every fault-finding backbiter. Surat al-Humazah 1. You who have faith, 
People should not ridicule others who may be better than themselves, nor should any women ridicule other women who may be better than themselves. And do not find fault with one another or insult each other with derogatory nicknames. How evil it is to have a name for evil conduct after coming to fate. Those people who do not turn from it are wrongdoers. Surat al-Hujra, 11.